Hello and welcome to Weaklings, the show that acknowledges that gay people exist, so it's feeling pretty presidential right now. Obama won, we won, this umbrella won, my life magazine with Elizabeth Taylor on the cover won. Gays won, guys. But perhaps just as awesomely, gay marriage passed in Washington, Maryland, and Maine, and in Minnesota, voters rejected a constitutional ban on gay marriage. Oh my god. So today I thought I'd honor those four states and their amazing voters by saying really anything gay that comes to mind about each of those states. First of all, it's called Maryland, which means Lord Baltimore predicted that gay marriage would pass in 400 years. You're spelled Maryland, but you pronounce it Merrillland, which is somehow the only gayer way of pronouncing Maryland. Oh my god, what if there was a theme park called Merrillland, and there was a haunted house called The Cry in the Dark, and a dueling pair of roller coasters called Kramer vs. Kramer? And in line for each ride, there's a sign that says, you must be this tall to ride, or we'll just kill you, because it's a Sophie's Choice themed ride. By the way, I want to be the interviewer who asks Mamie Gummer, so I'm Sophie, why should I choose you? You guys have the Naval Academy, which sounds like a place where you could learn a lot about Barbara Eden. Homicide Life on the Streets there? More like homicide. Seriously, Melissa Leo wore a lot of suspenders on that show. Richard Belzer on Homicide Life on the Street looks like... Brantley Boyd. Um, the Broadway show Hairspray is set in Baltimore. I can't think of anything gay about that. Hey, Maine! I hear the car that hit Stephen King was a Kia Sportage. Uh, Augusta is your capital? What, do you just name cities after importance of being earnest characters now? Banger, Maine? Do you always name cities after failed Goldie Hawn, Susan Sarandon movies? Wet Hot American Summer is set in Maine. I miss when Janine Garofalo was bankable. Shut up, the Cider House rules. Washington! Eddie Vedder is just Sarah Gilbert in shorts. You guys are into rain over there. Me too. Best single off erotica. Frasier. That was for gay people because it was a heterosexual minstrel show. Many homosexuals enjoy Sleepless in Seattle. Sure, I'm fine with that. Whatever. The Real World Seattle, my all-time favorite season when gay Steven slapped Irene because, oh yeah, she was the most slappable thing on the planet. Hello, Minnesota. I'm just going to talk about Prince now. Okay, Prince is not gay. But if you saw him naked, how disappointed would you be if his genitals were anything but a question mark? Prince looks like if Little Richard mated with a shorter Little Richard. Prince loves purple. Purple's the official color of LGBT Spirit Day. Prince invented homosexuality 25 years ago. Thank you. Oh, and you guys have Bob Dylan. His voice sounds like a broken vibrator. This has been Weaklings, the show that thinks Abraham Lincoln would be proud to know that we as Americans have replaced his wife with Sally Field. Join us next week.